Brothers, we need to talk and come to a level of understanding, so we don't mess up our lives going forward. Remember a couple of months ago, I was warning you guys that now is not the time to get into a relationship, and it's better to stay single because of the upcoming recession and possible global economic meltdown on the financial markets? Well, look at what's going on now and tell me if I gave you guys bad information. In just a couple months after I warned you guys to stay off the plantation, notice that a lot of big tech and other companies started laying off people left and right, and it was later revealed that approximately 70% of them were women. I told you guys that you shouldn't fall for cuffing season, and if you listened and held the line, you wouldn't have to worry about your girlfriend losing her job and having to pick up all the financial responsibilities in the home. Or what if you were the one who lost your job? How many of you think your girl would have stayed with you until you got back on your feet while paying all of the household expenses? Come on brothers, I don't give you guys advice to be caught in the spider web of life. If you are one of the guys that didn't fall for the cuffing season trap and you're busy grinding and stacking your money, working a primary and secondary part-time job, then you'll be alright going forward even if you lose one of your incomes. But I know for a fact that a lot of the hoax strategists are struggling right now, and that's because they couldn't leave relationships and peace leave alone. How can anyone who loves themselves purposefully put themselves in the position to be financially effed? And the caveat is these men are wrecking their finances and risking potential homelessness over peace leave, a firm chest and booty cheeks. Is it that bad out here? Are men that down bad that they'll risk it all over someone who'll leave their goofy butt for another man once their finances get messy? My gosh, we live in a time when peace leave is one of the easiest things to get and men are still struggling. All you have to do is form a temporary relationship or what I call an arrangement with a woman, pay a bill or two only after she gives you what you want, and that's it. Look at how easy that is and don't come with the BS about the 80-20 rule and women only want top tier guys because most women in this economy are in a bind and they will do whatever it takes to survive. You just have to have your finances in order, find the right woman who won't fin s you or try to backdoor her way into a relationship, form a temporary relationship and do what you gotta do. To get peace leave in 2023, you don't need to go into a long-term relationship and cohabitate with these 304s and risk losing your butt in this economy. There are sites that facilitate temporary relationships that benefit both people, seeking is one of them, or you can link someone in person who's in a bind and is willing to get into temporary mutually beneficial relationships. Just protect your health and your life because you never know what these women will do if they're desperate. I've gone over what to do in past videos, so keep watching my videos and you'll get a piece of the free game of how to get what you want safely. Before you guys make the excuse that it's illegal, I want to ask you a question. Is it illegal when you're in a relationship and help your girl pay her rent and she rewards you with some wet vice grip? I don't think so. How about you give her money to fill up her gas and go to the grocery and she gives you some neck to show her appreciation? Is that illegal? Exactly it's not, and what you're doing is the exact same thing. The only difference is that the relationship is purely business and likely short term. Like how people get married for business, the same can be done in a relationship. You provide an agreed-upon resource, she gives up the sweet watery innards, and then you can choose to continue or sever the relationship after. How hard is that, guys? That, to me, is way easier than a long-term relationship or marriage, so I choose to do these types of relationships, but to each their own. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. You'll have to figure out what you want for a relationship and do that, or go monk mode and stay away from these cream gobblers. If you don't associate, you'll stack money, and you won't get into any problems, so if that's what you want, then do that. Another thing I want to talk about is the men taking in stray cats without knowing their past. Listen gents and listen well. The most important thing to do before committing to anybody or associating with them on a deeper level is to get detailed information about their past. A person's past, specifically a woman's past, will tell you what your future will be highly likely. So to ignore a woman's past is not only foolish but reckless, to say the least, and only an idiot would date a woman he knows nothing about. For example, just as you wouldn't buy a used car or an old house without doing the proper inspection to see what's wrong with it, the same goes for selecting your mate. Because let's be real, you guys are not getting women with their cherry intact, or they'd never experimented sexually before. You guys are getting Chad and Tyrone's rejects and wiping them up without doing your proper due diligence, and that's why you end up fing up your life. It is very important to find out a woman's past before you put your salami inside her body or take her seriously because a lot of modern XXs have a whole cemetery inside their closet that would scare the hell out of you. Many of these women were messing with their roommates in college and the girls on the basketball team. They were participating in orgies. 
these women had trains ran on them, they were always in and out of relationships, they'd cheated in past relationships, they were in these streets, and the list goes on and on. You'll need to know what she was doing and whether or not she is a sane human being. You can ask the tough questions or hire a private investigator if you're serious about dating a girl you're interested in. It's better to spend a little bit of money than risk losing a crap ton of money later on when she betrays you. Don't avoid doing this, brothers, make sure you know what she did before she met you because it matters. And if you find out she was a scout peeling 304, then don't try to change or save her. You can have a casual relationship, kick her butt to the curb, and keep grinding, but a relationship is off the table if she has a messy past. Speaking of the past, I found an article I wanted to share with you guys and let you draw your own conclusion. But before that, make sure you tap the like button and get this over to 500 likes. Alright, today we have an article by the New York Post, and it's titled, I hated my first time, so I paid $10,000 for surgery to restore my V-card. Yes gents, if this is true and not an attempt for this young lady to hit a blue check mark on Instagram, then we are definitely in the end times without a doubt. Let's dive into this article, guys, and see how all of this unfolded. She got some tissue, now she's ready for some hanky-panky. A Miami woman is claiming she underwent hymen reconstruction surgery because she wants to have segs like it's the very first time. Influencer Julia Medeiros, who has made headlines for looking like Kylie Jenner, explained she endured the $10,000 procedure because she wasn't happy with the way she popped her cherry. I was a 17-year-old teenager when I lost my innocence to a 30-year-old guy, Medeiros, age 22, told the Daily Star without disclosing her former paramour's name. Just like many women, I was deceived. I was promised marriage and children like in fairy tales. She added, it's evident that once he got what he wanted, he didn't keep anything he promised. Oh boy, well, why didn't you close your legs until he walked you down the aisle then? Wouldn't that have made more sense? She was a willing participant in what happened, and I'm sure she would have given her V-card away eventually without getting a proper commitment, so I'm not buying her story. The next thing that I want to highlight is the fact that we can't trust undefiled women anymore. Lord have mercy, women can now repackage their pea sleeve to look like it has never been touched before, so basically, they've turned their wet vice grip fake, just like their boobs and butts. Send the asteroid. Not only did we have to worry about transformers who did surgery to get a pea sleeve, but now we can't even trust that a woman is an undefiled woman. I think it's time to just pack it in and call it a life, or get your passports and leave this isha sap. I never thought they'd be able to pull it off, but here we are in 2023, and if this woman is telling the truth and not trying to get clout, then we're effed. I never saw manufactured pea sleeve coming, but now it's allegedly here. Now, there will be 304s who will plunk down the cash to change the appearance of their pea sleeve to finesse you guys into thinking they are good women. Wow, all I can say is wow. Gents, be careful out here in these streets because if this is real, expect women to risk their lives to get this procedure. They already risked their lives to get implants, so don't think they wouldn't do the same thing with their wet vice grip. Anyways, let's continue. Medeiros, who hails from Brazil, says she has not yet taken her new lady bits out for a spin, according to the Daily Star, as she's saving that experience for someone special. I always wanted to have that special moment for myself. I want it to be unique and romantic, like in fairy tales. That's why I had the surgery, the influencer confessed. The opulent operation involves taking a thin layer of tissue from the pea sleeve wall to rebuild the membrane, which partially covers the opening of the wet vice grip. Like Medeiros, several women have revealed spending thousands of dollars for designer pea sleeve. Look, I don't need to go any further. Send the asteroid, end this world, and get it over with. I think we're too far gone at this point, and it will only get worse from here on out. What are we doing as a society? Instead of doing everything the right way and saving their V-cards for their husbands, these XXs are going against God and trying to play God. Gents, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about the designer pea sleeve. I can't wait to hear what you guys think and whether or not you're all for it. To me, it's goofy and ungodly. But deceiving men into thinking they're pure when they were a proud CC rider is next-level deception. Good thing I'm not going back into relationships because this is getting out of control. Let's wrap up this bad boy, you can read the rest online. Guys, I wanted to let you know that potentially modern XXs will be using this procedure to hide the fact that they aren't pure to get what they want. So stay on your toes and hold the line, relationships should be the last thing on your mind. On the screen is our season 5 videos that I know you will enjoy, so click it right now to learn why it's better to stay single in the future.